I live around the corner and I was walking my baby by this space every day. So I kind of got a wild hair and called the number on the banner and left a message with two different people letting them know that I was an artist and I wanted to make art on their building and they got back to me. Which was like, doesn't always happen on a cool call. <laughs> Lauren Pilata has been a friend of mine and actually our studios used to be right together. And we were always talking about how much we wanted to work together. She called me and was like, come see this wall, let's talk. Let's try to get some artists together. What I really wanted to find was a group of artists whose work complement each other, but also where they could go between like representational and abstract and also be really comfortable using color. When Lauren said she had this wall, I was like, I don't even need to hear anything else. The location and the size and the fact that she was curating this group of artists, I was sold. Lauren told me the lineup and I couldn't believe the amazing group that she put together. She told me about the other artists that she was bringing on, all female. When you get into graffiti and street art and things like that, it tends to be a very male-centric world. And so I think it was really important for Lauren to bring together this group of female artists where each of our styles is really different. And so it becomes this collage that is like, yes, we're all female, but it's not just one female voice or female perspective. Each of us brings something very distinct to the table. I consider Atlanta going through like a renaissance right now. The people that live here really start to feel real ownership over their public art pieces. There's artwork everywhere. There's something about our relationship to this area and our relationship to the community here that will read in this wall. It just fits well because it's already this burgeoning arts center. And so I think, you know, when there is all of this development happening, it would be a missed opportunity to not have really beautiful art on its walls. We met a couple of times to talk about how each of us could bring our kind of unique and specific skills to something that would read really well as a whole, but that it would also represent our own distinctive voices. And we were excited that we had the opportunity to, to do it on such a big scale. This is the biggest wall I've ever worked on. And for all the other artists, it's the biggest wall they've ever worked on. I have a flower that's like four stories tall. I've done some large projects, but this is nine stories that we're at right now, so this is definitely the tallest. And the first time ever using this equipment that we're on. We are on these swing stages, which is what window washers use to go up and down these big building facades, negotiating ropes and clipping in, and you have to have two people to operate everything. And so it definitely demands teamwork, which is good. Laura and I are basically at the exact same level, so yeah. we got the left, she's got the right. Just really, really. <laughs> we're just slow. living there in the middle. We'd <laughs> be bringing down like the periwinkle into that, the part above the square one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see what you're talking about now, where when we were on the lift, I couldn't see. One day, I will get this flower right. <laughs> We wanted to paint a powerful woman. We're all very different artists, but one concept we could bring together was the floral design. This concept of, you know, this female kind of in this world of flowers, it really resonated with us to be the goddess Persephone. She is rising from the underworld. Her presence is what dictates the season. When she comes earthside, then spring and summer and this like beautiful harvest time occur on earth and when she goes back down to the underworld then it's winter and everything dies. So we just loved this feeling of her representing abundance and female strength. We wanted her to sort of represent every woman. The fact that you can be very soft and be very strong. We talked about how you personify a Greek goddess, like what face should that look like? I'm doing the hand right now and the hand is holding this massive stemmed flower that is one of Molly Rose's flowers and I'm covering it in this really intricate pattern. There's like this really cool color conversation going on with that yellow and green and red. I've done a few collaborations. I love painting with other people and this is the most kind of seamless and organic one that I've ever done. You just sort of like picked artists that you wanted to work with or whose styles you felt really kind of meshed together or could like be in good conversation with each other. And I, you never know when you collaborate, like is there gonna no. be chemistry there? Like are we gonna fight? Are we gonna butt heads? Are we just like right. not gonna be on the same page? And I feel like there's been none of that. It's just been like teamwork the whole time. This project has been amazing. Like 
four amazing Atlanta artists working with all amazing female assistants. It's finding somebody that you trust their style with your own to be able to execute a piece and it's actually surprisingly hard to find. We could easily collaborate again on anything. Yeah. Double the size. <laughs> I was a mere plane hanger. Swing stages. Yeah. Yeah. Off the list of equipment yeah. that might have been daunting a month ago. I feel yeah. very empowered having used these now. I'm really excited about future collaborations because I've realized how great it is to lean on other artists. She could have obviously done this by herself and just hired a bunch of assistants to come out with like her own design by herself, but she chose to make it a collab and I think that's amazing. I'm just really proud of all of us. Our blood, sweat, and tears were all in this and everybody was a leader. I hope that it creates more opportunities for local artists, for the big deal projects. I feel like I can do anything now after doing this. I will take away um, a renewed sense of confidence in what is possible as a local Atlanta female artist. My hope is that women, and especially young women, will be able to see this and be like, look at the size of that, look at the power of her and the complexity of her. It sort of becomes like a spot where you see it and you'll never forget that place.